Miss Nan, she got um, one of those cinnamon rolls, and she said that she was going to share it, but she didn't. Okay. <laughs> so we have dual. We have two parts. We have a cinnamon roll. A sticky pecan bun. Cinnamon, cinnamon roll and and not sharing it. Kind of wanting to share it, but deciding not to share it. Okay. And how how did you feel when you think of that? How do you feel when you think of that? Selfish. Selfish. Okay. Um, selfish is kind of a judgment of yourself. So what, what feeling, when you're um, selfish, what do you feel? What's emotion. underneath that? Oh, like, sticky. Stinky? Sticky. Sticky? Yeah, like, it's not a good okay. feeling. Okay, so, okay, sticky, alright. That's, that's, I've never heard that feeling before. <laughs> this is great. I'm feeling sticky. So mm -hmm. sticky, which sounds like really, really uncomfortable. I can't share yeah. that bad feeling. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe uncomfortable, so yeah. you give me a little reference to Okay, excellent. Second group. Oh, I shared, I had a barbecue meat sandwich. Barbecue chicken sandwich. Okay. And if you remember how you felt then after you ate it or how you feel now thinking about it, what feelings come up? I was really upset and disappointed okay. in myself. I felt kind of like peer pressured on them. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that's a really. strong stuff. Food and peer pressure. <laughs> Cultural pressure. Yeah. Not having a sense of what it really means to be healthy. Mm -hmm. Okay, next group. Um, all I had today was a tangelo with Brad, and I brought nuts and healthy food, but it's only because Brad eats really good food, and I'm only starting to get healthy. And so we bonded on eating unnecessarily. Yeah. Okay, it's eating. Kind of general. Eating. Okay, just in general, okay. And you mean just eating? I'm not hungry, but I still keep eating. Oh, Stress. okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just eat, eating to eat. Yeah, or instead of smoking, you eat. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So, what are your feelings when that happens, or what are your feelings thinking about it? Like, almost like addiction. Like, I feel like addicted to food. Yeah, like maybe powerless, yeah. a little powerlessness that you just keep doing that. How about you? Do you have a feeling that comes up for you? Helplessness. Helplessness. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that's the same thing you just said. Yeah, but it is the same. Powerlessness. Yeah. Powerlessness. Powerful. Yeah. Powerless. Hopeless. All right. Awesome. You guys. I guess I'll share mine. Um, I went to breakfast this morning and I stole a piece of my friend's bacon. <laughs> Even though I myself am, for the most part, I eat vegetarian. Except for those little moments. Yeah, I got lots of little moments. Yeah. <laughs> kind of all that. Stole, I like how you said that. Stole a piece of bacon, because that in this process there's really no such thing as stealing. It's just the It's true. You it's took true. it from somebody. Obviously off their there's plate. some guilt there. Guilt. So guilt, okay. <laughs> guilt. Any other emotions? Um guilt. <laughs> okay, thank you. That's kind of our starting point for our chart here. And what I first want to say is that um, before you start looking to change anything, it's really important to acknowledge all the good stuff you're doing and to celebrate that because often in our culture we get caught up in just focusing on the things we need to change and we lose track of all the things we're doing well. So in this model, it's always very important to acknowledge that there's a lot of decisions you're making that are satisfying you very important to start from that place. If people are familiar with appreciative inquiry, it's a process of kind of working with systems. It's all about looking at the system, how to improve it, coming from a place of abundance instead of from this place like, oh, I should have eaten that. I'm upset because I didn't eat that. It's really more of an additive process rather than a lack process. So what I want to do now is shift a little bit, and I didn't bring my other dry erase board, so I'm going to use that one. And this is going to take us into needs, just to give a quick education about human needs and this process of compassionate communication. So if you want to 
you want to shift this way for this part, we're going to just do an exercise. So to talk about what, what, is a, what is a need? What is a human need? How do we define that? So, and again, you can work with your partner on this. And what I'm wanting you to do is just ask yourself, kind of get in a place of remembering your best relationship, best friendship, um, if you have a partner that you're really connected to, just try to get into, get into a space where you remember what's that, what it's like to be with that person. And then answer this question. And we'll give you like two minutes to discuss in your pairs, and then I'll have you share them, and I'll write them on the board. So the question is, what are the qualities of a fulfilling relationship? What are the qualities of a fulfilling relationship? So you have two minutes to just brainstorm a few, and then we'll have a chance to share.